The only thing I'll have you grab and have um, at the ready would be a single challenge weight for hip raises. So get that, get that on the mat and then we'll go ahead and get warmed up. Uh, don't, don't trip over the weight, of course, but get it at the ready. So we're, we'll start off uh, warmed up and then down for core and we'll need that weight once we're on the mat. So let's start off with high knees. Friday morning from the work event I had last week and I learned yesterday that um, it was a big trade show 6,000 people I think maybe eight um, but I learned that of course there were some COVID diagnoses afterwards but I am happy or I'm healthy jumping jack I'm happy that I'm healthy my poor colleague that started the week, he didn't, he didn't even get to go to the trade show because he got food poisoning so bad up until like the last day. And then he still ended up going home with COVID. And push-ups. So as if the food poisoning wasn't bad enough, Tricep push-ups. Remember those elbows stay along your sides. challenge with lifting one foot. For now, drive through your heels, press to the ceiling. Fifteen seconds. Oh, that's a hard one to do for a long time. Good job. 
five, three, two, one, rest. Good work. Good work, enjoy that rest. And we'll be back over for high plank. Drop your knees, tricep push-ups. heel. And switch sides. Right foot to the ceiling, driving through your left heel. Raises. This time, let's start right foot in the air, driving up through your left heel. The author of that book was a, is a recovering eating disorder, um, or it's recovered from an eating disorder, I guess would be the way I say that. Ooh, keep going. Drive through that heel and switch. But 
really felt convicted in that book about just tendencies toward kind of disordered eating or, or and not disordered eating, maybe that's a strong phrase, but some of the wrong messages in our brain break um, that are driven culturally, even the tendency to be like, oh, you know, I ate a lot yesterday, so I'll just not eat until, you know, whatever, lunch, afternoon, etc., etc. So, but I would recommend that one too if that's a topic that interests you. All right, one last round on high planks with taps. Go. Tricep push ups. foot up. Switch. Almost there, just 10 seconds, then we're going to end up on our feet. All right, rest. Set that weight aside, come up to your feet. Circuit three. Uh, circuit three is going to be a reverse lunge pulse with a goblet hold weight. So you're going to kick one foot back, you're just going to come down and up. Locked into this position. Okay, we're not stepping forward or back. Uh, then you're gonna grab your lighter set. We've got front raises, and then we've got lateral raises. All right, so single hold goblet weight to start. Kick that one foot back, go. Switch sides. Front raises.
raises. rest. Good work. One down, three to go. Right, adjust any weights if needed. Get that goblet hold weight ready. Kick one foot back. Lunge, pulse it, let's go. Raises. Lateral raises. rest. Good work. Two and two to go. I know you're not on social if maybe you ladies, maybe other ladies have seen it on social, but I posted a close-up pic of me and Charlie from the weekend of Charlie and I, sorry, Charlie and me, posted a close-up picture of Charlie and me over the weekend celebrating his graduation because he was in his cap and gown, switch feet, he was in his cap and gown and when all you could see was that of that part of was that part of my dress, I looked like I was wearing the same gown he was. Uh, Lakshmi, I'll have to text you a picture because I still get the giggles over it. It was like this V-neck V-neck dress. I got a Betty Kelly puff sleeve, um, and the V-neck dress or the V-neck had a a yoke right below it that was like had gathered that had shearing to it. Oh, front raises. From this much, it looks exactly like a graduation robe. 
in the same color he was in. And I did not notice it until we got home and I saw the pictures. So I had a good giggle at myself. I'll still wear the dress again, just not to a graduation. And lateral raises. And rest. Can work just one more round. Last set is going to be um, light to medium, or last circuit rather. Light to medium weight. The exercise are going to be scaptions. Overhead tricep dips, you can go down to single weight if you want. Pull up, so that's elbows out to our side under our chin. And then tricep kickbacks here, all right? Last one of your pulsing lunges with goblet hold, go. So you can thinking about that last circuit, what weights you're gonna want to get that right. Just three rounds of that last circuit. And switch sides. Ian's um, school award ceremony was last Friday, and we were really excited. He won the Growing Christian Character Award. I think maybe with a couple with a couple classmates, but a very nice honor. So. Three, two, all right, front raises. Um, on Saturday, I was like, ooh, probably because I wanted them more than anything. I was like, let's go get, I think it's a bit small cakes. Yeah, small cakes, cupcakes, so good. So we got small cakes, cupcakes, and they didn't last long except for Jack's. Jack had eaten lateral raises. Uh, oh, I've got a hair. Um, Jack had eaten, I got, a, um, it was a cannoli cupcake and it had a mini cannoli on top and then the cupcake to go with it. And he ate the mini cannoli off the top, but he didn't eat the actual cupcake yet because he was too full. He's like, so we, it was sitting in the kitchen, covered in plastic wrap. Ooh, break. All right. If that's your light set, hold on to that. If not, you might want an alternative light set, especially for these scaptions. So we're gonna go palms facing up for scaptions into a wide, wide motion. Okay. Um, so I, I agree. Full day yesterday, no, no time for snacking at all through the day, which usually can be a vice if, I'm, if I don't have enough phone calls to keep me busy. All right, scaptions, go. Um, so no time for any snacks, but when I wrapped my day, which was after I had dinner earlier, when I wrapped my day, that cupcake was still sitting on the counter. So I'm like, I'm having that cupcake. That's just... He missed out too bad, so uh, he, he was home, but you know, it's been two days, it was still moist and delicious. Um, but I texted him and I said, you owe me a mini cannoli since you ate it off my cupcake. All right, overhead tricep dips. And he came back in all caps, you owe me a cupcake. <laughs> if you, I know it's a, 
is a chain if you guys have one. If you haven't had one in here, you'll get delicious. Unfortunately, I used to not really like cake, and that has all changed. <laughs> but I don't really like ice cream anymore. I, don't, I shouldn't say I don't like it, but... All right, pull-ups. So these are coming along your body, elbows out. Not that I don't, I used to really crave ice cream. Now I'm like, eh, it's all right. I'd much rather have a cupcake though, especially if it's that good. And tricep kickbacks. Weights don't have to come the whole way forward. We had the sweetest visitors this weekend, good friends of ours that live in Connecticut. She was she was in our youth group when we lived there when we were first dating and married. Break which was oh, 20 years ago, 20 plus. All right, take a break, and then we'll go in, back into scaptions. Uh, so she and her husband and kid, but we've seen her at least once every few years. We're either up there, either for weddings or just like New York City trips or whatever, or, there, or before kids, she, would, she came to visit us quite a bit at different places we lived. All right, starting with scaptions. Three, two, one, go. Um, but they were driving from Kiowa back home. And since we're right off 95, we make a good little stopping ground overnight. So they got in Sunday after church with their five, three and 10 month old girls and stayed with us, but whew, I kept saying, I hope she knows. I mean, her, her girl, they were sweet, 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 overhead tricep dips, uh, super sweet, super well behaved, talkative, but adorable. But it is such a reminder not having that, kids that age, like, I think my kids are tired, and they are, but not like, like, in a different way. Now, of course, their kids were in bed by 7.30, you know, and he didn't hear from them until they woke them in the morning to leave, so they had that going for them. Woo! But they were cute. All right, pull-ups. Her husband's got a really kind of fascinating role. He is the founder of a company called Izzy Beauty, um, and it's all sustainable beauty and skincare, <clears throat> and the assortment's growing. He started off with just mascara that you could send the container back and they would refill. All right, tricep kickbacks. They would um, <clears throat> cleanse and refill the container so that you didn't have that container waste. And now the skincare he sells in their tablets. They're like, or they're either like effervescent tablet types or, um, oh gosh, like little capsules, I guess, where the, and rest. The capsule, it looks like it's in like a little plastic wrap, but maybe a bubble about, I don't know, that size. It looks like it's plastic wrap. It's not. It's a, um, you know, it, it dissolves into the water too, but the, in the pellet is a, is a, like a, a cleanser that you're just putting in, in a cup of hot water and you sell the packaging with it. So you put the lid on and then that becomes your, you know, cleanser in the shower or whatever. All right. Ready for scaptions. Last round. Go. But he is, it's a startup. So he was sharing about the journeys of, you know, fund, getting funding and, Whew, I don't envy that life. Good for him. And it's a, like, it's a great brand story. And 
overhead tricep dips. And pull-ups. Tricep kickbacks. Last round. <clears throat> Jesse, if you have a moment, the, um, of course, the service from Sunday was on YouTube. And I mean, we had. There were eight speakers. I think we had 11 graduates, high school graduates. Break <clears throat> that spoke. Uh, or, I'm sorry. There were eight that spoke, but I think we've got 11 graduates. So I'm sure you may get a kick out of seeing these little young ones who are now not so little or young. Elbow overhead, deep breaths. Good job getting up. Well, we really don't have the darkness to blame anymore. We've gotten the light back in the morning. Link your fingers behind you, press up. Take a side lunge. I also have to remember that it's sprinkler season, so every morning when I let the dog out and I think, did it rain? And then I have to remind myself, no, it did not rain. It is summer, so sprinklers happen. Press around to a runner's lunge. <clears throat> I have heard of so many good shows on streaming services. Um, I've heard Jury Duty was really good. I haven't watched it yet, but I'm way behind on anything. I, I'm not even pleased. Ted Lasso, I started, but I'm not caught up. All right, now that front leg, underbody, press into pigeon. sides. Come around to a runner's lunge. Come on to that back knee. Straighten your front leg. Toes up. And then tuck that front leg up to your body, press into your hip. <clears throat> Good work.
right. Let's do it. If you've got time, to the mat. Core. I'm in. All right, awesome. <laughs> Thank you. You probably you knew that the whole time. All right, on our backs. We sure did miss core. All right, flutter kicks in five. Darn it, that's probably because I didn't want to do core. That, thanks, Karen. Okay, go. Flutter kicks, 30 seconds. We've got flutter kicks, dead bugs, butterflies, and heel taps. How did I get this far and not even know? Ooh, silly, silly, silly. <laughs> I was talking away. I mean, I, I don't usually talk in warm up. I'm still like half asleep, and I was chattering. Whew. All right, we're on to dead bugs. Walking that lower back to the mat. <laughs> Just laughing at myself while we're already stretched out. Butterflies. Heel taps. And rest. All right, one down, three to go. Kicks first. Go. Keep going. Five, three, two, one, dead bugs. Taps.
and rest. Good work. Going again, flutter kicks in ten. And maybe we should have a vote on whether you want to do whether you like core first or last. Go. Butterflies. I bet if I could, if I could rewind my thoughts, I bet after that first circuit, I was really thinking. Wow, class is fine today. And heel taps. As you know, May Sember. May Sember is no joke. And it's certainly taken me by storm. So my brain is mush. And rest. All right, we'll have just one more round and then we'll finish for the second time today. And you can say you did two workouts before you even got your day started. Ready for flutters. Last round. Two, one, go. Dead bugs. Three, two, butterflies. Nearing the finish line. Keep it up. Heel taps.
and rest again. Thank you for joining today's blooper reel.